Good morning today, everyone. It is a very pleasant Tuesday morning, and we're going to talk about, well, sixth generation Transport and Z06 brakes. As you can see, pretty chrome wheel, but four piston rear caliper and cross drill and slotted brake rotors. Now, the reason why we're talking about this is the following. A lot of people complain about the brake dust. A lot of people complain about the noise, but let's look at the simple things. You can see all the holes drilled all the way around it, but yet you could still see through them. But here's the issue. If you go, you could still see a whole lot of brake dust inside the brake rotor. And what happens is it will contaminate the brake pads as they slide across it creating more brake noise. But take a look at this. If you look at the different design, excuse me, this is a General Motors brake pad. It has a shim that only sits on half to create a little pad taper. This is an aftermarket brake pad, which was installed on the front of this Grand Sport. Now, if you take a look, this is an outgassing slot and aftermarket brake pads do put these in here from time to time whereas the factory brake pad does not but there's also more to it you look at the actual wear you could see that it's actually tilted so what do i mean by tilted well if you look at the wear of the actual brake pad there's more thickness here than there is over here okay that's because of the way the shim is. See the heavy contact here? Well, that shim creates a little bit more brake pad contact. When you go and you angle the brake pad, it gives you slightly a little bit more contact. But look, simple part about all of this is that when we're talking about brake pads, you're also talking about the brake retaining pins. Now, these are the brake retaining pins. And those brake retaining pins must be replaced every time you do brake pads on Grand Sport Z06. And you will hear tons of people, oh, well, I never replaced them. Eh, that may be true. That may be true. But these particular brake pads, brake pins, excuse me, rely on a movable metal shim. See, there's the slot right there. And that metal shim actually will conform to the brake pad contact points right here. So if you're going to do a Grand Sport Z06 in the 6th gen correctly, you do OEM pad and you do the pins. Now, if you want to put ceramics in there, that's just fine. But remember, ceramics brake pads will wear out the brake rotor at a faster rate. How do I know? See that ridge? Happens all the time. Factory or GM. The truth of the matter is, ceramics will create more of a ridge over time. So, a few little break point and tips today as far as sixth generation brakes. I know it looks like an absolute mess, but normally when you do a brake job, normally you fix that mess and it looks a little bit better. Remember, you wanna keep that nice riding very, very nice and clean denatured alcohol do not utilize brake clean or you'll wash the writing off all right ladies and gentlemen i hope everybody has a good tuesday looking forward to being a beautiful day here in connecticut and stay tuned for some upcoming news on corvettes at carlisle in august have a good day everyone